uh, TV Z here and um, basically <clears throat> drop back down into goal league from plat which is fine I guess it just means I'm gonna win a bunch of games um, so doing my scouting making sure that everything is normal and it is So I don't get my gas at the right time. That's a mistake. I need to get my gas before I get that command center. But whatever. My TVZ build is not stable yet. I'm getting too protective with my wall. I should have a tank instead. Like, I'm just not... I'm not there, it needs some work. So the reason is I I scan his main and I see roaches and I'm like, ah, okay, so. so I scan and see roaches, so I see this push. Twelve roach push. So I gotta assume that's gonna be aggression. Build another bunker, get my siege tank out get SCVs ready, put a turret at the front just in case he's going to do some kind of burrow movement. A lot of roaches. It's just a shit ton of roaches. She sends the lings. Bane lings are coming. So I think what happened here got that wall up just in time. So I think he wanted to do a baneling bust, but now it's gonna be difficult to do considering that wall that he sees. So he goes for Spire. Bunker at the third. Prioritizing taking that third is really important. Moving SCVs. Getting my turrets out because I know that the, once I see that, I know there's a pretty good chance of a lot of mutas. So, triple turret, triple turret, triple turret. I'm on my plus two, plus two. Should be getting ready to move out once it's complete. Supply depot wall because I don't need it, but the thing is that I'm used to having that amount of supply. So I'm about to boost up once these barracks finish. So. He's got his third. In the income tab, 60 to 67, 3 base on 3 base, good saturation. SCB ready. 10 inactive SCB workers. Ready. Upgrade complete. Yep, a lot of inactive workers, which I do fix in a bit. Just curious how many it was. So. This is a pretty scary thing to try to harass. It just barely gets in. And I don't even know if he saw it. Yeah, he did. So that you're not getting to that. Here come the Flacomutas. 
He's almost maxed out. I'm at 170. I move out. He's taking his fourth. Plus three, plus three is on the way. Here comes his roach push. So I see the roach push. So my goal here, don't die. Be smart, siege up little by little. Oh, there it is. I already pre-sieged way in advance here. He just lost a bunch. Pull back. Meters, doors. Pull my marines around. Make sure they're focusing on what they need to. I'm gonna back that up real quick. Yeah, so like these are all dying. What's more important is that I keep my tanks alive. So I kind of use my marines as a wall, overstimming and not having um, medevacs. So my force is getting weak when I'm producing six marines, two marauders, and two doors at a time. I've saved three of my tanks to deal with any roaches, basically. Move up. Siege on the outside. He's going to come around, but I'm going to move all my marines near my tanks. Oh, there's another stim. My marines are all almost dead. So my over stimming. I know medevacs here are huge for the roaches. Yep, a lot of them die. A lot of my stuff dies. At the end of the day, all my tanks are going to do really well. Keep my marines back for my mutas. He's lost a lot. He's got a muta left. And he's gonna be producing five roaches and one ten roaches and one muta, which I don't think is gonna help considering. And uh, I'm on plus three plus three at this point, so my medevacs are starting to come now. I was late on the medevacs, I forgot that, so this was really not a great build. But unit control was good. Uh, scouting, understanding what my opponent was doing was good. Come um, back, let his roaches take fire. Move up here, let his roaches take fire. GG. And in the loss tab, 15,000 to 5,000. Pretty good. Pretty good. Again, a lot of mistakes in regard to my build, but. Um, what I did do well was uh, unit control, which I'm trying to work on a lot now, and um, making sure that I have the right units in the right place, keeping my marauders at the front, keeping my marines at the back, picking off mutas bit by bit. Let's look at that main engagement again, which I think was like the big deal. Here is mutas. He's trying to engage and get my tanks. And I'm just not going to let him do that without losing a ton of mutas. Because I don't mind if he gets one or two tanks if he loses most of his mutas. And uh, at that point, yeah, he produces a bunch more roaches. But those mutas are not going to be a, a lot able to kill my tanks. Move my forces back. Don't let him get the tanks. Yeah, I pick off the marine, that's fine. But my marauder, Thor, need shield is going to be strong. And my marines are going to be around to kill those mutas. got one lone muta somewhere on the map. There it is. Supply block, 230 for him, 130 for me. 
Yeah. Worker's active, just better for him, but I bet in the resource collection rate, I'm ahead a little bit. Um, upgrade spending, better for me. Army value, better for him the whole game, but I had a better unit composition by far, so that's why it just tanked with good unit control. Um, So, let's go to the GG tracker, just take a quick look. I did lose my um, placement match against a really mm, scrappy Terran, um, but yeah. Roach Muto. He just never could engage efficiently. Pretty straightforward. Took my third run when he took his. Yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. Okay.